health experts say people over age 60 are most susceptible to the coronavirus. So are people with compromised immune systems. Well, some Coloradans who are already struggling now worry about possibly getting the virus at the same time. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas on that story tonight. And Dylan, you talked with a 20 year old whose life dependent treatment was almost put on hold because of COVID 19. Jim Olivia Bunya lives here in northern Colorado, but she actually travels down to the Aurora area in order to go through chemotherapy for that life dependent treatment. The threat of COVID 19 almost forced her to postpone the treatment that she so badly needs. Tonight, she's telling us about the struggles of fighting off that illness on top the threat of COVID 19 while also dealing with the judgment of those in the public. Well, it's not fun. Like, I'm not having a blast. While others are using the COVID-19 stay-at-home order to do home projects and get outdoors. I'm going through chemo. The threat of exposure to coronavirus is just one more challenge for Olivia Bunia. I almost got freedom, but it just got snatched right back. But I'm doing okay. <laughs> The 20 year old had a tough decision to make when doctors said a third and hopefully final round of chemo could be jeopardized by coronavirus. They feared going to the hospital for treatments could be more dangerous than her rare cancer itself. If I were to get the COVID-19, I could potentially die um, just because my immune system is so compromised from the chemo. Olivia eventually decided to continue with chemo, even though her battle makes her one of the most susceptible people to die of coronavirus. It's actually really frustrating because when I go to the grocery store, I do wear gloves and a mask. I saw this kid take a picture of me, like he kind of smirked and it's frustrating because they take it so lightly and like as a joke, but like they don't realize they could be carrying it around and passing it around to people who are compromised like me. Now I don't leave my house unless it's time to come to chemo just because it's so much of a greater risk. I'm hopeful that I'm not gonna die, so it's better to just have a positive outlook and be positive than be negative all the time and worsen your case. So I just think people need to be more considerate and stay at home. As it is with many hospitals like this one right behind me, many aren't allowing guests in either. So as you saw in that story, Olivia is doing a really good job at actually staying positive and working on homework all by herself while receiving chemo. She tells me she hopes sharing her story will not only encourage those who are ill to keep on fighting, but it will also hopefully encourage those who are not ill to stay home for the sake of those who can't. Live in Loveland, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. She has quite a story to tell. Dylan, thanks.